Welcome to another Jerry Anderson themed countdown. I'm your guest host, Cameron Stewart. Today we're looking at the top 20 Super Mario Nation moments, a project I started all the way back in 2009, where I got you, the fans all over the world, to vote on their favourite moments from Supercar through to the Secret Service. Also included were the two films Thunderbirds Are Go and Thunderbird 6. So let's get the countdown started. Number 20. The first appearance of the Sidewinder. This impressive opening sequence is edited to present the contrast between the natural wildlife and the technologically destructive machine of the Sidewinder. The full reveal of what the Sidewinder looks like is held back for a very long amount of time. It is only until it is completely out of the jungle does the episode give us a wide shot to see it in its entirety, building up to a huge reveal of an impressive machine. Number 19. The first view of the crab logger in action. After watching the episode for 9 minutes, audiences finally get to see what the crab logger is like in action. Beforehand, a lot is built up by the secondary characters as to what the crab logger can and is going to do. Finally, we get to see it, and with the dramatic music and multiple shots, we get to see the complexity of this machine. Most notably, the crab logger is never seen in its entirety in a shot. It is only seen moving across the screen from right to left, which emphasises the enormity of its size. This all comes together to present a machine that is colossal. Number 18. The opening sequence to Fireball XL5. Memorable opening sequences are key to any television show, and Fireball XL5's is no exception. With the emphasis on the enormity of the spaceship, and the music that builds up until the rocket shoots off into space, it all culminates to suggest that the show is going to be big, bold and exciting. In many ways, this is the first big launch sequence that paved the way for the one seen in Thunderbirds. Number 17. Captain Scarlet and the Mysterons opening. Unlike many of its predecessors, Captain Scarlet's opening didn't have the fantastical images and music that Supercar, Farble XL5, Stingray and Thunderbirds had. Instead, it presents us with the dark and spooky undertones that informs the viewer that the program they are going to watch is going to be very different from what they are used to. Number 16. There's trouble ahead. After watching our main heroes lose control of the situation on board Skyship One, this scene flips the scenario and shows the villains lose control as Skyship One crashes into the towers. Thunderbird 6 is often criticised for not feeling like a Thunderbird story, but this is the moment that familiar music from the TV show is used, which reminds us that this is a classic Thunderbirds moment. Number 15. Seascape's destruction. The destruction of Seascape is not just an explosion, but instead a very dynamic scene where we see a desperate rescue occur, with an evacuation and jets of fire raging throughout. With so many variables, this scene is brimming with all sorts of exciting imagery, presenting numerous problems for the main characters to overcome. Number 14. Troy trying to escape the forest fire. This moment features one of Barry Gray's jazziest music tracks, played by the Wasp Band. However, this catchy music is set against Troy trying to escape from a burning fire, and makes the sequence all the more memorable and exciting as we see our hero try to make his way out of a perilous predicament. Number 13. The recovery vehicles hauling the Sidewinder. This rescue is one of anticipation. Before this, we have had two failed attempts by the US Army to save the Sidewinder. Even International Rescue have had to prepare and perform other tasks before putting the rescue into operation. So this is the scene the whole episode has been building up to. Not to mention there's no guarantee that it is going to work. All of this adds to the great struggle that puts the viewer on edge. Number 12. The shootout between Joe and Coletti. All round, I believe most fans would agree that Hijack is the best episode of Joe 90. It perfectly incorporated the espionage theme the series needed to be. The final shootout between Joe and Coletti is interlaced with Barry Gray's exciting music that knows exactly when to hype it up and when to bring the pace down to reflect the action on the screen. Number 11. Rock Snake Attack. In comparison to the whole movie, 
besides Alan's dream sequence, this is probably the most out of place scene. It has a far more sinister and unworldly feel to it, which of course is appropriate. The rock snakes are perfectly represented to be monstrous, scary and above all, a threat. This is done through the imposing camera shots of the snakes and the music score, leaving this theme to be highly memorable. Number 10, The Fool of Cloudbase. Once again, Captain Scarlet and the Mysterons break tradition and presents its audience with a nightmare episode instead of the very familiar dream episodes. However, it fits and complements the series' dark tones and probably leads people to remember it strongly. Of course, let's not forget that this is an episode that tricks the audience into thinking it has killed off its entire main cast as Cloudbase falls from the sky. Number 9. Skyship One Exploding With every Thunderbird story, there is almost an expectation that there will be an explosion. Thunderbird 6 sets out to deliver this expectation and presents a huge explosion which is visually impressive and almost feels endless. Number 8. Thunderbirds Argo Opening While often being criticised for being too long, there can still be something said about the very stunning look of the Zero X as it is put together. Each shot shows off the magnificent design of the craft and the music gives a grand sense of importance showing that this Thunderbirds movie wanted to be bigger and grander than before. Number 7. Perils of Penelope Shootout scene. While only lasting roughly two minutes, the shootout is quickly edited with fast music and high stakes that all lead to one exciting scene. Not to mention that some of Goldberg's actions are so extreme that you get the impression that Gordon is up against a desperate foe. Number 6. Thunderbird 2 Bumping the KLA Satellite for viewers watching this scene for the first time, they are left believing that Ricochet is still on board the KLA, which creates a tense sequence. And for a moment, it seems International Rescue have failed. We feel their disappointment and are confronted with the idea that the good guys might not always win, even though by the end, everything is fine. Number 5. Thunderbird 2 Crash Landing It's a big moment where we see one of the star vehicles almost get destroyed, made even bigger by the near loss of one of the main characters, showing the audience that International Rescue are not invincible. Number 4. Monorail Slowing Down Sometimes some of the best episodes of Thunderbirds are when the main characters are put in danger. For this scene, we get three main characters hurtling to their doom. Even when Brains manages to get the monorail to break, there is no guarantee that it will stop, making this moment very tense. It's worth mentioning that this scene and the last four moments have all used extracts of the same piece of music, showing Barry Gray's power of influencing fans' memories. Number 3. Captain Scarlet Bursting the Tires on the Delta Tango 19er. This is, of course, the first time Spectrum lose to the Mysterons and potentially the first time in Super Mario Nation history that the heroes couldn't save the day. Visually, this moment is also powerful. The SPV is tiny in comparison to the Delta Tango 19er, making Captain Scarlet's mission all the more a struggle. Number 2. Battle on the London Car View The episode's build-up to this moment has shown one thing. There's no place safe from the Mysterons. With the London car view being several thousand feet high, this is the perfect place to have the final battle as both sides are trapped with nowhere to go. This is also the moment when the audience gets to see how cool, calm and brave the character of Captain Blue is. It's dramatic, pacey and well edited, which helps make it moment number two on our list. Before we reveal number one, here are some honourable mentions. Number 1. The Fire Flash Landing There probably aren't many fans who didn't expect this moment to come out on top. 
The Fire Flash landing is exhilarating, dramatic and breathtaking. With high stakes, dramatic editing and fast music, this moment is designed to make any fan's hairs stand on the back of their necks. Being the first Thunderbirds rescue after an entire episode's worth of build-up, we see International Rescue succeed for the first time, even after things nearly failed due to the elevator car's malfunction. Did you enjoy our list? Let us know in the comments below what your favourite moments are. Remember to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.